um, good morning. I don't know how to say <laughs> correct. Uh, greetings from our university. Greetings from Rivne. Greetings from Ukraine. Um, today we uh, have a lot of uh, good stuff. We had a lot of uh, lectures, uh, seminars, and other uh, great things. And uh, if to be correct, uh, the first one of our speakers is Anna. Uh, one sec. She uh, she just disappears. So <laughs> we have to wait a few minutes. Um, the topic of uh, her uh, speech is university as a key partner is in local and regional development. Um, uh, hello, uh, I'm Katarina. I'm just speaking because Anna, she has a little bit of problem with uh, Google Meet and uh, the computer doesn't want to work, but uh, hopefully she will solve it in a few seconds. Please wait a few seconds. Okay, uh, now we see the presentation, the role of universities in regional development. Uh, Greetings to Kater Katarina too. <laughs> okay, uh, so uh, if you are ready, uh, we are ready to listen. Good morning. Can you hear me, please? Yes, we can. Ah, super. So everything is okay. Uh, sorry, uh, I had some problems uh, with computer. Uh, so uh, my name is Anna Vanova. Uh, and I am Associate Professor at the Development of Public Economics and Regional Development of Faculty of Economics uh, at Makibel University uh, in Banska Bystrica. Uh, my research activities are oriented on the issue of the trends in city and regional development uh, strategic marketing planning of special spatial development, place marketing, place branding, um, competitive advantage of territories, and so on. So, and I am, uh, this is our faculty. Uh, our faculty is uh, in a very nice city in Banska Bystrica. Uh, it's in, in middle Slovakia. Uh, so it's a small town with 80,000 uh, inhabitants. So uh, you are invited to come from, uh, to Slovakia and to Banska Bystrica uh, sometime. So today I will uh, speak about universities as a key partner in local and regional development. Uh, when we want to speak about uh, the role of universities, uh, in local and regional development, uh, uh, we must speak about the university's mission, uh, about universities and uh, their role in development, in uh, regional development. Uh, then I will have some uh, case of Slovakia uh, about a cooperation between universities and uh, cities or regions. And uh, at the end of this presentation, I will speak about uh, some best practices. From uh, one will uh, be from small city in uh, Moravia, which is in Czech Republic, and uh, the other two will be from Slovakia. So, uh, when we can speak about uh, universities, uh, we must speak about a mission. Uh, the mission of the university is talent development, research, education, and knowledge exchange. Uh, so that is uh, very important. Uh, that's the why universities are. Uh, they uh, transfer transfer knowledges uh, to public. Uh, but universities uh, play key role in regional, uh, especially economic development, as a key vehicle or catalyst for strength and relevance to ensure regional development and competitiveness. Uh, it's a lot of uh, research which uh, we phases uh, this K-Roll. Uh, 
uh, nowadays universities are increasingly seen as a catalyst for development with sustainable contribution not only as a providers of education and research but also as an actor playing an active role in the regional development at economic, social, cultural and environmental level. What are the phase of the contribution uh, to the regional development? How might universities interact with and what is the strength of the linkage uh, to the region in which they are located? Uh, the diverse roles of universities as uh, large institutions, source of expertise and providers of common education expertise are commonly the most used to classify the regional impact of universities. But from the other perspective, uh, universities act as local integrators of national policy streams for regional benefit, like uh, labor market, uh, employment and skills policies, industrial competitiveness policy, science and technological policy, education and training policy, and territorial development policy. <clears throat> uh, the growing importance of knowledge as the base of the economy has been translated into growing uh, expectation of universities to function as engines uh, for regional development. Their role in regional development processes was extensively acknowledged uh, by many uh, researchers. Uh, we can speak about Goddard, uh, Keane and Ellison. Uh, they uh, prepare a lot of studies about universities and the impact of regional development in Australia, or Chatelon and Goddard in uh, Anglesas uh, literature. And it is uh, expected to further increase in the future uh, given the emergence of the knowledge-intensive economy and society <clears throat> in terms of the growing focus on knowledge and usage of information and communication technologies in all sectors and activities. Uh, you can see uh, Guadal Helix model, but uh, the first was the triple helix model, uh, which uh, uh, emphasis trilet networks and hybrid organization of university, industry, government relations to provide the infrastructure necessary for innovation and economic development. Uh, this model uh, emphasizes the coexistence and co-development of diverse knowledge and innovation modes together with mutual cross-learning between knowledge modes and interdisciplinary and uh, transdisciplinary knowledge. Uh, the quarter helix model adds as fourth helix, the public specifically uh, defined as the culture, uh, media, based public and civil society, you can see there better. Uh, this fourth helix includes, for example, uh, social concepts like art, the creative industries, culture, lifestyle, media and values. Uh, the last uh, quintal helix, mo helix model, uh, this model, which you can see, uh, as fifth helix, uh, the natural environment, more specifically socio-ecological interaction, meanings it can be applied in the interdisciplinarity and trans 
disciplinary way to sustainable development. Uh, this model is something like a call for collaboration across institutional divides and the awareness that the role of partner is such collaboration or model for economic development. Uh, in various, uh, various countries, uh, this model uh, has also been used as an operational strategy for regional development and to further the knowledge-based economy. And in this model, we can see a uh, very important role of universities in uh, uh, transferring uh, knowledges to other subjects in uh, region or in regional development. Mm, higher education plays the role in dissemination of information and knowledges. Uh, the institution of higher education take the lead in a transformation process. University uh, and judgment with the regional development issues and the regional development community is taking place in the context of a wider set of changes in the external environment uh, with which universities must cope with. We can tell about the increasing awareness of universities as having a magic economic role as an uh, employer, as a source of technological know-how, as a source of human capital development in promoting a flexible and adaptable workforce. Uh, universities uh, are uh, this uh, ascribed a uh, key role in the promotion of the dynamism of local economic and technological development with the support of research and knowledge creation. Uh, the most noted reasons are uh, following. Uh, universities are specialized in learning and research. They are specialized in knowledge creation, knowledge management, seen as central to development processes. Uh, universities have the infrastructure, institutional frameworks, and organizational systems. The various discipline areas, uh, when taken together, form a broad knowledge base that crosses the boundaries of narrow sectoral interests. Uh, with the potential to play important integrative and facilitating roles. Uh, given uh, the knowledge transfer and diffusion role, uh, universities are ideally situated to building capabilities in a region. Uh, they are already recognized as playing a key role in regional innovation system. Uh, when we speak about this, we are speaking about knowledges, we are speaking about human capital, uh, we are speaking about human resources, and we are speaking about social capital. Uh, universities as a large institution uh, sources of expertise and providers of common educational experiences can contribute to sustainable development in their local areas in uh, many ways. Uh, the first uh, is found in the university's own institutional management practices. A number of institutionals uh, have their own sustainable development policies, uh, statements and visions, 
stating university's objective and being involved in the development of the region. Second, universities are sources of technical expertise and they can draw uh, on their own expertise for the development of the region. Third, uh, universities uh, have an extremely important cultural role in providing a common education experience for students, acculturating a set of social beliefs through academic practice. Uh, finally, universities can be seen as a leader through their involvement with institutions and activities directed towards local and regional sustainability. Universities are traditionally identified benefits uh, like uh, um, population growth, housing demand, employment opportunities, increased spending and spin-offs. There are implicit benefits mainly linked to emergence of the knowledge economy like knowledge production, knowledge value adding and knowledge transfer through teaching and learning and research and innovation activities. Uh, there are benefits that emerge from the development of learning regions offering flexible and innovating regional response to rapidly changing economies uh, that potentially allow universities to make not only a large contribution to the development of their region, uh, but also to strategically position that region as a learning region within the knowledge economy. Besides their role as a critical source of knowledge and learning activities, universities can provide an essential support infrastructure for research and innovation activities. This role is extremely important, especially during periods of economic restructuration. This also represents the basis of uh, spin-offs into uh, the regional economy. And the last but not least, uh, university contribute to uh, regional development as a gateway to global information sources, resources, among other contributions. Uh, for example, locally relevant knowledge production, um, human uh, capital formation, uh, creating a flexible and adaptable workforce, um, procuring leadership within uh, formal and informal local governance and uh, community structures. Next picture, uh, uh, it's about a uh, region dynamic link engage and university. Uh, within uh, how, how you can uh, see the, uh, this is an exam. Um, within the university, the main challenge is to link the role of teaching, research and community service uh, by internal mechanism, uh, funding, uh, staff development, um, incentives uh, and rewards, communication, and so on, uh, which take uh, these activities more responsive to regional needs. Within the region, the challenge is to engage universities in many of the phase of the development process, such as um, skills enhancement, 
technological development and innovation and uh, uh, cultural awareness and uh, link them with the intra-university mechanism in something like um, university and region value added management process. Uh, if the interface between university and region uh, can effectively be managed, then each side will reinforce the other. Uh, there is um, another dimension to universities' integrative capacities, and that is universities' capacity to integrate <coughs> national policies uh, within uh, particular regions. Uh, so, uh, We can speak about uh, the short-term effects of the university. Uh, we can speak about input sites effect. Uh, it's uh, the demand of local enterprises, uh, the income of expenses of local house, uh, household and the services and income of local governments. Uh, thanks to universities, young and highly qualified graduates appear to the labor market. Uh, the local workforce is able to easily start new enterprises uh, due to the recently acquired skills and abilities. Uh, thus, institutes uh, of education increase the appeal towards entrepreneurship. <clears throat> the freshly graduate workforce uh, can attract enterprises uh, from outside the region, which leads to the establishment of uh, new four places. Uh, and um, the professors and researchers of the university practice a significant uh, research and development uh, activities. So uh, the input factors can be considered as triggers of secondary regional multipliers effects of the economic base model uh, as the verify demand regarding local services. Uh, like we can speak about short-term effects of the university, we can speak about the long-term effects of the universities. So uh, the long-term effects of the universities or output side can affect the qualification of human capital, uh, the attraction of foreign uh, capital and uh, workforce into the proximity of the university uh, and the number of enterprises based on university research. The output factors trigger primary multiplier effects. New companies could come into existence that can create new work places in the region and are able to cure income from outside the region. So um, it was a little bit theoretically uh, and now uh, the case of Slovakia. Uh, in Slovakia, uh, the role uh, of universities and colleges is underestimated, uh, but I can say it's uh, year to year uh, better. Uh, but um, I must say uh, their absence, the conceptual cooperation among universities, colleges and local municipalities which help to keep the university graduates in regions to employ at the local entrepreneurs or invest investors 
uh, there is uh, a lack of research cooperation between the stakeholders in regions, uh, lack of uh, networking support, uh, connecting skills and knowledge, lack of creative employees motivation. Uh, <clears throat> four or five years ago, uh, we uh, met uh, our uh, own research and um, we made the question of survey and in this question of survey conducted by us we focus on examining uh, the characteristic of the relationships between the selected uh, local governments and colleges and universities uh, the reason for the development and problematic issues uh, that are associated with its building. Uh, selected uh, results are presented uh, in this table. Um, so, uh, um, respondents of the local governments show uh, by their responses that the uh, expected assumption that cooperation between municipalities and university is uh, minimal. Uh, up to 48% of local governments do not cooperate with universities and colleges. Just 1% uh, of respondents perceive them <coughs> as rival and partners. 43% of local governments see uh, the college or university as partners. Uh, generally, uh, the development of the relationship uh, between local governments and colleges and universities uh, should have an interest in both parties. Uh, but uh, According to the local governments, the relationship is developed by both parties only in 34% uh, of municipalities. Uh, 20 of, um, percent of local governments are more active in the relationship and uh, 31 uh, or 32 percent of answers declare uh, more active approach of universities and colleges. Uh, to utilize, uh, utilize the potential competitive advantages associated with human resourcing and create real competitive advantage based on the quality of human resources, we can uh, recommended uh, some uh, measures that should be implemented by the regional and local body. So, uh, the local and regional authorities in cooperation with the universities should support existing business in its territory as well as uh, start up creative and innovation entrepreneurs uh, in the form of uh, start up competition and pilot innovative projects uh, for, uh, or uh, they can help by providing space for uh, lower rates through promoting organizing business seminars for creating space for uh, networking, co-working, startups, and so on. Uh, they uh, should seriously consider and implement the systematic approach to improving the quality of human resources, training of the population to the through market economy, and build quality creative class through cooperation with colleges and universities.
uh, what can do uh, universities? They can help by developing ideas and knowledge at the workshops or conferences or courses where the entrepreneurs can gain valuable contacts, partners, customers and potential employees. The, uh, the emphasis uh, should be placed on the rapid transfer of new knowledge and ideas into practice, exchange and sharing of experiences and know-how. Implementation of this measure would contribute to increase the competitiveness of human resources but can be also a valuable source of Slovak, uh, um, for example, uh, in Slovakia for Slovak regional development. Um, the uh, value of, we can say that uh, the value of higher education lies uh, in the linkage and the quality of um, incorporate in the local economy. So, using uh, the knowledge, uh, the positive impact of uni universities to regional development is uh, in continuing education, lifelong learning, graduate and postgraduate courses, courses that are responsible uh, to local needs. Uh, research and development uh, uh, there, uh, there is a base uh, based on know-how. Uh, there are some investment in research and development. Uh, via research and uh, development activities, uh, universities uh, can uh, create net network uh, networking in the fear of the firms and institutions of uh, regions, and uh, they can create uh, with region science parks, for example. I will have uh, uh, one example from a Slovak uh, city in uh, Žilina. Uh, via different forms of cooperation and forms of networks, uh, universities uh, create staff networks, uh, staff entrepreneurism, community networks, student placement in a local business. Uh, learning infrastructure, uh, uh, which uh, are at the university, uh, it's very important because uh, this infra infrastructure can use uh, the community. We can speak about physical infrastructure and knowledge infra infrastructure, uh, libraries of universities, uh, which serve uh, the community too, uh, internet services, uh, the hard and soft infrastructure necessary uh, to sustain urban life. Uh, human resources, uh, like a uh, source of universities, we can speak about membership on local boards of university staff and administrators involvement in local, regional and strategic planning processes, uh, the availability of highly skilled and highly educated workforce with the capacity to learn, database of staff skills uh, are in the university. Uh, community can participate in university development and employment of local professionals in campus development.
So, and it means a lot of benefits uh, for region. Uh, for example, um, multidisciplinary problem solving, integrative approaches, innovation and leadership skills, uh, social justice, uh, multi-way learning, multidisciplinary teams, fractional and participatory research, focus on innovation. Uh, there are some other benefits. Uh, uh, tools to understand and lead change learning regions, empowerment of communities, enhanced social inclusion, expanded set of opportunities. And uh, for example, demand driven, uh, demand -driven courses, uh, adult learning, uh, new forms of knowledge, uh, community participation programs, uh, responsive uh, products, demand-driven research uh, for applicable knowledge and solution, action research, uh, on insight and outcomes, uh, networking uh, across sectors, uh, which makes new synergies, uh, creative partnership, uh, Mm. And uh, at the end, uh, new governance at the city or in the region. So, uh, and now we will show uh, how it works uh, in practice. Uh, in uh, three cases, uh, in three cities. Uh, one city uh, is Karvina, how I spoke, it's a small city in uh, uh, North Moravia. Uh, second city is Slovak city, uh, Žilina, and the third city is uh, uh, Košice. So we start with the example of Karvina. Uh, Kar Karvina is a small city in North Moravia in the Czech Republic. Uh, there are around uh, 53,000 inhabitants. This uh, city is in the region which has a lot of economic problems. And in the city is a faculty of business administration, uh, which uh, closely cooperate uh, with uh, city council in this city. Uh, and there was the starting for, point of, of, to um, prepare the project uh, of uh, business gate. Uh, this picture show you the uh, old house uh, where this business gate is situated. Uh, so uh, the aim of this project was to support business activities uh, in the city and uh, help students uh, to give practical skills. Uh, so to support these business activities, uh, uh, this uh, new center called uh, Business Gate was opened in Carmina in 2015. The city renovated uh, the old building uh, for this purpose. City Council offer uh, for the university this old house uh, in the central city. Uh, and um, university uh, uh, there create uh, open uh, working, uh, working space. Uh, so uh, the aim of the project uh, was keep in the university uh, uh, in uh, in the city uh, uh, university at high school graduates with good ideas and potential, make it easier for startups to enter the market, encourage good ideas and the desire to do business to do business. <clears throat>
In the multifunction center, a person interested in business or a small or medium-sized entrepreneur will receive, uh, uh, receive a business address, technical infrastructure uh, under one roof, equipment offices, short-term rent, uh, and consulting and professional advisory services. Uh, Business Gate has uh, three uh, pillars. One is uh, named Academy Second Cowork and Third Benefit. Uh, so Academy, uh, they, uh, the aim of the or the goal of the Academy is to help um, small uh, businesses uh, to improve. So you can see how many uh, small firms uh, were developed during a few years. Uh, students are involved uh, in this process like uh, the advisors. A teacher from the university uh, coach them uh, and uh, students um, help the people which want to open their own business, own business uh, to create this business. They prepare for them, uh, for example, business plan or uh, marketing strategy, or they uh, help them uh, with uh, find the finance for their small business. So they uh, must uh, communicate uh, with uh, financial sector with ministries and this everything helped the students uh, to um, create and develop practical skills uh, and uh, cooperate uh, between them. So not uh, it's uh, at the university or at the faculty, uh, they uh, learn the theory and there they have the practice. Uh, academy means uh, uh, that the people who wanted to start uh, build their own business find uh, in this place and in this space a uh, technical infrastructure uh, it means uh, table, chair, computer, Wi-Fi. So it's something like a small office space. Uh, second is the student services. Uh, and it helps to people uh, create and develop their own business. Uh, this uh, business gate uh, is a co-working space. So uh, there is the possibility uh, to rent the space uh, for co-working activities, uh, for example, for people which want to uh, cooperate together and they have an office because they just uh, start up their, uh, their own business. Uh, so is the space for mentoring, is the space for uh, networking uh, for uh, cooperation. I was there uh, two years ago and it's really very nice space. The third, the third uh, aim of this uh, business gate is a uh, pillar benefit. And it, this uh, pillar means that in uh, this space you can organize uh, workshops, uh, um, um, learning activities, courses for uh, people from the city and region, uh, certificate courses uh, which prepare university or uh, students, and uh, it's a consultancy uh, and professional advisory services. Uh, and uh, you can find uh, a lot of in information in a one-stop shop uh, uh, where is uh, 
few students who are uh, professionals in uh, financial support for uh, start uppers. So uh, second, so uh, it was the uh, it was the case from the small city uh, where is just one faculty, uh, but uh, the cooperation between uh, city and faculty helps to uh, inhabitants or young people uh, to start their own business. Help to students. Uh, develop practical skills uh, for their next practice. Uh, help uh, helps the city council uh, communicate uh, with inhabitants. Uh, so it's a lot of benefit benefits, uh, which is the result uh, of the cooperation between uh, city council and uh, this faculty. The second case is uh, from Jelina. Uh, it's about uh, cooperation uh, between university, uh, city and region. Uh, city is uh, in Slovakia, it's uh, not small city, it's uh, it's a bigger city, uh, so uh, it's a city in our north of Slovakia with 81,000 uh, inhabitants. Uh, this, uh, the city Žilina is in the region uh, which has a lot of economic problems. Uh, and uh, there is uh, one of the biggest university in Slovakia University of Žilina. Uh, results of science and research activities of the university have an important influence uh, not only on the educational activities but also on the development of international cooperation or interconnection with practice. Uh, in the field of um, science and research, uh, University of Julina uh, participate, for example, in 200 national and 41 international scientific projects and organize, orga they organize about 60 uh, scientific and professional events annually. Uh, uh, there were two new uh, significant workplaces uh, established uh, within the operational program research and development in uh, 2013. Uh, one was University Science Park and second one was a research center. I will speak about University Science Park. The strategic goal of the project of University Science Park of uh, the University of Žilina uh, was to build an excellent University Science Park with internationally comparable outputs in the field of research and development and with an emphasis on economic growth and development of the region. Uh, the idea of creating the University Science Park of the University of Žilina uh, was established in 2010 uh, when the Ministry of Education, Science, Research and Sports of the Slovak Republic realized the need to build institutions equipment with a state of the art research infrastructure and expect in key research areas. Um, also, this will uh, influence improving the Slovak economy and increasing the competitiveness of the re region by supporting applied research and innovation. Uh, the um, 
So the university very closely cooperate uh, creating this project with the University of Žilina, uh, City Žilina and uh, Region Self-Government. Uh, the, very, the process of preparing project of University Science Park uh, at the University of Žilina uh, took place in several stages in January uh, 2012, University of Zulina prepared basic concept of the project in which there were defined uh, four support research topics based on a um, series of discussions and workshops uh, with key researchers for the purpose of defining such an instrument infrastructure uh, which uh, will enable the excellent research at international level. Research topics uh, were uh, elaborated in the delighted project plan. Apart from them, uh, activities aim at technology transfer together with collaboration with industry practice and uh, region uh, were incorporated in this project. Um, the scientific park in Žilina is unique uh, research workplace at the international level. Uh, for this project, uh, ministry spent around 45 million euros, but uh, they uh, created uh, 120 uh, to 140 uh, new jobs, positions, uh, including positions of external staff, doctoral students, postdoctoral students, as well as top researchers from abroad. Uh, this uh, park has uh, two buildings, uh, four research areas. Uh, I will speak about them. It's intelligent transportation, intelligent manufacturing, uh, and wise materials and technologies, information and communication technologies. Uh, there is 15 top uh, uh, research laboratories, uh, one project partner, fifth international uh, treaties, uh, and one international project, Eracher acquired. Uh, this uh, scientific park uh, very closely uh, cooperate with firms not uh, just in region uh, but around all Slovakia, especially uh, with uh, uh, firms which produce uh, cars. So something about research objectives of the uh, scientific park. Uh, uh, they increasing innovation, culture, expensive support for applied research and knowledge transfer into practice and support for regional knowledge and innovation development. Construction of the physical infrastructure of the science park as unified technological unit. Implementation of top research and development in the field of intelligent transport and production system. The University uh, Science Park focus on scientific approach uh, to solving problems applied in practice, intending to use and integrate the knowledge and experience of scientists and experts from practice. Uh, the main research activities are carried out in the um, areas, like I say, intelligent transport system, with emphasis uh, on human factor in transport, monitoring of transport processes, technologies and application in uh, intelligent uh, transport system. Uh, the second arise intelligent manufacturing system with 
an uh, emphasis on prototyping in intelligent production system solution for advanced uh, um, for a production system production technologies and new assembly concepts uh, modeling and simu uh, simulating of intelligent production system the third area is progressive material and technologies uh, uh, with emphasis on optical fibers and phototonic uh, elements, um, biomedical engineering, um, and convention drivers. Uh, and the last is information and communication technologies, uh, emphasis um, uh, on uh, processing of unexpected information, photonic application, uh, knowledge based on uh, technologies, um, decision support, uh, and, and so on. Uh, so uh, they offer, uh, the scientific um, park offer services uh, it's a few services. Um, uh, one is management of intellectual property rights, uh, which solves the problem of knowledge and technologies transfer into practice in a complex way. It's common, uh, commercialization and intellectual property protection. Uh, the second is education uh, for students, how to create our own business but uh, they involve the students uh, to their uh, research activities uh, how i say before uh, phd students and uh, postdoctorants uh, so they have incubator it solves the problem of knowledge and technologies transfer into practice in a complex way it's common uh, commercialization and the intellectual property protection and they rent uh, the space services like uh, consultants uh, uh, information and com uh, communication uh, technology services um, marketing services uh, they preparing uh, strategies uh, for prax um, uh, it's a project center uh, net for networking uh, the main goal of the project center is to encourage and support activities and cooperation in the field of research and development through funds obtained from project activities. Uh, next services are um, um, our deals to technology transfer. Uh, as a result of research and development already implemented on the university, uh, premise of the university being present as a project partner. Uh, they, uh, um, this park very closely cooperate with uh, Microsoft. Uh, they have um, Microsoft uh, Biz Park, which helps uh, to start our businesses for small uh, firms in uh, information and communication sector. And the last is communication platforms. <clears throat> it's uh, uh, an innov uh, innovative portal for regional self-government, uh, which helps the firm and institution with innovation potential. They have a specific platform, uh, which name is uh, Ma uh, Majnapad. Uh, that means, have you some idea, uh, which helps students create our business, um, or uh, to find uh, donors, sponsors, um, this platform uh, prepared uh, um, competition for the students and so on. <clears throat> uh, the last activity of uh, <clears throat> this part, scientific part, is cooperation. This park cooperate very closely uh, with scientific, uh, with uh, companies, uh, uh, with students, and with media. 
So uh, we spoke about uh, the first three. Uh, so and um, they cooperate with media, informing the media about uh, what they are uh, doing, how the construction or the activities of the science park is progressing, uh, monitoring uh, results, and so on. So uh, it was the case uh, about uh, uh, from the biggest city uh, with um, one of the biggest Slovak university, uh, which deals to improve or uh, improve research and uh, transfer uh, knowledges from research to the practice. The last case is from Košice. It will be very short because I haven't uh, uh, more time. So the Košice uh, is the city in Eastern Slovakia. Uh, it's the second biggest city in Slovakia. Uh, it, there uh, is um, more than uh, two, uh, 200,000 uh, inhabitants. Uh, Košice region is uh, the region with, with uh, economic problems. Uh, it's the region uh, uh, where is a lot of small uh, villages or uh, very small cities. Uh, and um, Technical University of Košice is uh, very innovative uh, institution in this uh, region. Uh, um, this, uh, this case is about cooperation uh, between uh, city, university and uh, non-profit sector uh, and they together create uh, um, multifunctional creative uh, open center, which uh, names uh, Tabachka, uh, because it uh, uh, was, it is uh, located in the fabric uh, where uh, the cigarettes uh, were uh, produced. You can see a few uh, photos from this um, uh, place. Uh, in the first picture in the left you can see uh, it was old uh, old building uh, and um, it has um, the space inside and outside so the space outside is using for uh, um, outdoor activities uh, like um, regional small markets with uh, uh, regional products or uh, there uh, is during the summer cafeteria uh, there are uh, concerts because in Košice uh, there is conservatorium there is a uh, big uh, uh, theater uh, our, uh, uh, indoor activities uh, are uh, there are uh, big and small spaces. Uh, the big hall is used for weddings, for uh, like a convention center for big concerts or um, um, something like um, market for uh, firms. Uh, the space inside this uh, uh, tabachka uh, is community friendly. Uh, they, uh, there are people who uh, can uh, give you professional support. Uh, there is the place for entrepreneur, free, freelander. Uh, is a co-working space. The there. Uh, the, you can uh, make here uh, business, you can find their uh, professional support uh, from marketers. Uh, they are working professionals and students too. 
uh, it's a lot of um, artists here uh, located for a short time. They uh, rent uh, the space for a short time for the activities. Uh, it's a working place for uh, people who want to uh, create their own business or uh, which need to cooperate with other people. You can see the um, space of this place. So uh, it serves like a co working uh, center. Uh, they are uh, commercial activities. So uh, there are uh, something like museum, museum or galleries, uh, spaces using for uh, this. Uh, there is a very nice uh, restaurant uh, with the space for small children. Uh, when, uh, for example, students for the university help mothers working in this uh, co-working space or in the offices uh, with the children. So it's really very uh, multifunctional space. Uh, so uh, you can uh, organize their workshops, seminars, conferences, so it's it's a very nice and a very useful place uh, in the city like Košice, for example. You can see uh, there are some other possibilities of activities uh, what, which are providing uh, in Tabačka. So, and now uh, maybe a short exercise or... Um, or, or um, exercise for you uh, try to thinking uh, about uh, if your university or your institution uh, plays some active role in a city in region uh, if you have some problem with this or uh, what type of barriers you have uh, and how to improve the cooperation uh, in your city, in your region, and in which fields. Uh, um, you will work with Katarina, uh, with my colleague Katarina in the next hour. Uh, um, in this, maybe uh, widely. Uh, but uh, they are very important uh, questions. If you want, uh, uh, if, if, if your university wants to play a role in city development or in local development. From my side is everything. Uh, thank you for your atten attention and uh, one time sorry uh, for uh, the problems when I started. I hope it was uh, interesting for you. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Anna. Uh, that was really interesting, and I hope that was not not only interesting but also useful for us. Um, I really have no doubt that that was uh, useful. So, um, two maybe uh, sentences from me. So, the first one: um, maybe anyone have some questions to Anna? So you can uh, ask her like now. Okay, uh, if nobody have no questions, uh, so um, the, the second sentence from me. Um, due to our program um, at 12.30, um, it's going to be Irina's time. So, do we have Irina? Yes. Okay. So, uh, to be truth, we have not an hour for Katarina. We have like 40 minutes. And I have to ask Katarina, is, uh, is this okay? And uh, uh, can you uh, speak for 40 minutes, but not for an hour? Is it okay? Yeah, that's okay for me. It's fine. Okay, thanks. So um, now 
this the time for Katarina and uh, and uh, 12 30 we have a time for Irina and um, I have to say one more thing that uh, we are recording this meeting and after the end of the meeting we are going to uh, post the records of the meeting on our YouTube channel so uh, anyone who wants to uh see this meeting again or maybe a show to their friends so uh, you're going to have a possibility to do this <laughs>